Greetings YouTube, time for a bargain video. We have a giraffe and a half, which is a Shel Silverstein book my wife did not have, and I picked that up cheap at a, uh, for a dollar for at, a, at a flea market. We have the new essential guide to characters in Star Wars, and I couldn't remember if I had this one or not, and I don't believe I do. It was a buck, so I figured it was worth the gamble. Uh, we have the Olympians, uh, Athena, gray-eyed goddess, which is a, um, it's a graphic novel about Athena. We have an RPG crate, which will be a video eventually coming up on my uh, on a Saturday upload, which deals with the contents of this. It was a birthday gift from my wife. It had a t-shirt as well, which is already in the laundry. Um, we has As You Wish, Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the Princess Bride by Carrie um, um, Elwes or El Elwes? I can't remember how to say his name. Um, just in case, how to be self-sufficient when the unexpected happens. Um, the Making of the Wizard of Oz. More movie stuff. There's a theme here. We have a Douglas Adams set. Whoops, let me turn that over. So you set and it spells out Adams. Um, which I picked up for a dollar at a, at a thrift shop my, for my wife. Hail, Hail, Euphoria, presenting the Marx Brothers Duck Soup, the greatest war movie ever made by Roy Blount Jr. Again, more movie stuff. Rambles from Mammoth Cave, which is, I believe, the largest cave complex in America. And there's even a little um, map in here. Though you can find digital maps, but I think it's still kind of cool. How Carrots Won the Trojan War. Curious but true stories of common vegetables. Um, 4,000 footers of the White Mountains. That's for my wife. Religions of Star Trek. Um, the Girl Scout Handbook. This is the 1936 printing of the 1933 Girl Scout Handbook. Um, and we have a book about the hollow earth, the long and curious history of imagining strange lands, fantastical creatures, advanced civilizations, and marvelous machines below the earth's surface, which I thought would be ripe um, for picking for a role-playing uh, inspiration. Um, next, we're going to have, I think, a couple more book things, and we're going to get into digital media. Now we have the best of PvP. <laughs> The choice cuts from America's seventh most popular webcomic, a comic I read every day, and I essentially got this for nothing. So I'm going to um, just read it and then donate it. Um, we have two issues of a comic called Gamma Rodders, which was a project from a joint effort between DC and TSR. And anybody who recognizes that name, you're old. Um, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, which has a really nice commentary track. Moonstruck, got that for the commentary. Quest for Fire, got that one for the commentary. Breakfast of Tiffany's, got that for the commentary. Hardcore Henry, never seen it, I've heard it's fun. Big Man Japan, which is kind of like a realistic uh, um, movie about a giant dude that like defends Japan, but it's supposed to be strange, and I got it for sale for two fifty. The Sausage Party, a film my wife has no interest in. Um, Chasing Amy, I got that for the commentary track. Planet Hulk, uh, Eagle Eye. Get Smart, St. Trillian's School for Bad Girls, The Empress and the Warriors, and Empress and the and, and, and Warriors, some Justice League, um, Cadillac Records, I did I bought that one cold. New Year's Eve, uh, Matt Damon Hereafter, bought that one cold too. And Forrest Gump, and I got that for the commentary track. I think a couple of these I already have in DVD, they'll get donated and uh, to somebody. And then I'll keep the, the Blu-ray with the commentary track, which is my main focus for most of my film because I love commentary tracks. We have The Condor, which is an animated film from Marvel about a new superhero. I have no idea if or where it fits into the Marvel Universe. Um, the Fog, which I got for the John Carpenter commentary, Sword in the Stone. This is the Samurai Trilogy, which has got... I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, Musashi... Uh, Miyamoto, Duel at uh, Ichijoji Temple, and Duel at Gunru Island, which is classic 1950s eras, black and white Jap uh, samurai movies. Um, Escape to Witch Mountain, commentary track. Fried Dream, Green Tomatoes, also a commentary track. We have two Chicago albums, one is the actual soundtrack, and then one is covers. Um, uh, Ikas Wasi, which is for Peruvian music. We have Cage the Elephant and Silver Sun Pickups, which my wife was pick was very happy about. And they had never been opened, and I purchased them from the family of this artist, whose name is um, 
Yeah, Shay Verbach, who I now follow on Instagram. She's quite talented. She does a lot of anime style, very cute thing, but this is an abstract she had done and I picked it up because I thought it was cool looking and in case she ever gets big, I've got one of her pieces. I have a squid hat, which, you know, we all need a squid hat. Um, I got this um, mother of pearl shell for a dollar. needs to be cleaned up, but I think I may use it as packaging for you know, a gift, like put a gift in it and then put a bow on it and stuff because I don't need it. But I thought it was cool looking. I thought it would be an interesting way of presenting a gift. We have some lava from uh, where Kim, uh, Kim, uh, Kimeamea died in 1819. We have this bell, which is London, which has a pretty decent sound. And I thought it was cool that the, the person had hung out this little funky tassel. We have a turtle, kind of a bell. It sounds better when it's hanging. We have a solid copper shark. I thought that was kind of neat. We have, I have this, which my, my friend tells me is German nickel silver. And it's a Kyrin. And it's fairly thick. And it's got a... It's got a stamp on the back. Um, this, this is on my Instagram if you dig around a little. But I don't know what it is. And I don't know what it says. And I'm hoping somebody can help me with that someday. We have three dance figures. A giraffe, which I'm getting rid of. I got it for um, this bear. I wanted to add that bear to my collection. And this one for my mother-in-law who likes polar bears. We have a bell. India. Which says, be gay. <laughs> Crack me up. And we have a bottle opener, which actually has bartending instructions hidden in the candle. I thought that was cool. We have a funky little letter opener, which I really liked. And it actually has an edge, which I was impressed by. Picked up a flashlight from a company I've never heard of, but it's a flashlight and a lantern. So I'll probably do a review on that at some point. We have this large aluminum sphere. I mean, it's pretty big. Um, it's not solid, and it's heavier in the bottom. But it's thick. It's heavy. So I'm going to turn that into a mace of some variety. That's going to be cool. And now we arrive at the final segment. This is a uh, ads pick. I picked it up for a buck. And I'm thinking I'm cutting it off here. And I already have a handle. And I'm going to make it a one-handed pick. And uh, this is to normally you just shove the handle in there and you need a pressure fit. But I'm probably going to bolt it in place because I want to make this an actual combat device and I may bring it to a better point. But for a buck, I might even find a use for that. We have a really deep coping saw. I was impressed by this and it's like, I don't know, a dollar fifty. I think I paid for it. We have a really nice little square, which I found that I didn't have one up here in the office and needed one recently. So here we go. Nice little square. We have a tea fall meat tenderizer, which looks like brass knuckles and is very broad. So lots of real estate for me to do things with. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, we have this. Now this was originally a wooden bat I picked up at a flea market for three bucks. I then modified it and turned it into a one-handed mace. It's very heavy. It weighs four pounds, 1.82 kilograms. It's got 24 stainless steel hex head lag bolts in it, which took quite a bit of layout to get right. Um, and that's just really cool. And so it was a, you know, $13 project, but it was a lot of fun to do. Then we have this, which is a, oh shoot, I forgot to do something. I'm going to have to turn this off for a second and do it. Um, this is a Puko finish designed by a guy named Tapio or Krala, whose name I am butchering, and I apologize to anyone in Finland that may watch this. This is the most beautifully designed knife I've ever seen. It is a, a piece of art, and I mean that literally because a copy of it is sitting in the Metropolitan Museum of Art because of the design. The man was a world-class designer. It's a nylon handle, which was a new thing at the time. And it's just, it's a, it's a pleasure to hold. And it's just so beautiful. The lines on this are just, they're, they're perfect. They're flawless, nothing extra. Um, then we have the sheath, which is got a plastic liner in it, which is nice as well. And then we have this, which is a Polynesian war club handmade. It's quite thick. It's got a nice heft to it, so it's not like balsa wood, I don't, but I don't know what it's made out of. 
I have no idea. But it's in nice condition. I really like it. Yeah, I think I paid 25 bucks. No, I paid 15 for this piece. I paid 25 bucks for the Puko. I paid 15 for this. I don't think the guy realized it was an actual Polynesian war club. Um, but I'm going to turn this off real brief for a second because I need to show you something. Okay, I'll be back. I got a new cane. And it has this cool grip. Brass. Breaks down in three parts. One, two, so you can like keep it, keep it in a vehicle or something for... But you take the hand off, and it has a vial. Now, I would probably use this as a stash. I would not use this to, to hold alcohol, which was probably, well, probably what it was originally supposed to hold. But it's springed. It's got a spring in there. So that's kind of cool. Um, I picked this up for 25 bucks, and I really liked that handle. I thought it was very nice. Uh, so, yeah, there. There has this is the latest bargain video. It's got some really funky pieces in here, and one I think is kind of funky. And I had my modification of a fish bat or a tire thumper or something. That's going to be a future project. I can't wait, and that will be a future project, which will also be very cool. Um, so yeah, this has been a very interesting bargain hunt, and uh, I enjoyed myself quite a bit. And I found some things that I consider to be works of art.